Hi. In today's digital environment, organizations are facing ever increasing amount of information on a daily basis. More information means more time for managing, more storage resources, and more budget allocation to manage the storage infrastructure. The challenge before organization today is to understand how data evolves, determine how it grows, monitor how its usage changes over time, and decide on how long it should survive. One answer to this question is Information Lifecycle Management, also known as ILM. ILM is where policies, procedures, and practices are used to align the business value of information with the most appropriate and cost-effective IT infrastructure from the time information is conceived through its final disposition. So it is the business value of information that governs the technology part of it. So the I counts before the T to start with. Looking at the graph here, you will notice that once information is created, that is records from their point of origination, which could be internal or external, for example, email, reports, article, publication, etc. It begins to grow by satisfying business needs to the point where it begins to generate business decisions and further documented for other purposes. But however, with time, its usage and importance decline to where it has met its retention period for this position. But regulatory compliance needs, as you will notice from the red dotted line, can raise the value of information again, even after this position, to meet regulatory needs, for example, for auditing purposes. So in general, you'll notice that the value of information is not unidirectional, but continues to fluctuate within the organization. And the question again is, how do we map the concept of ILM to our storage infrastructure? This is by storage tiering. Tiering is where your storage resources are classified according to their reliability, costs, and performance. On the diagram here, you will notice that our storage infrastructure has been grouped into three. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. Tier 1 is high performance decks, which are also expensive. Tier 2 are low performance decks or medium performance decks, which are less expensive. And Tier 3 are also less expensive decks and low performance decks. You could also have your backup system to keep historic information for regulatory needs. Recovery system as well to help in terms of disk failure. We realize from the concept of ILM that all information value is not the same. So we can't treat every information equal. Therefore, we need to align the high value of information, information with a high value on tier one, which is high performance storage system. And those with less value on tier two, then tier three. The challenge is how do we identify and classify then migrate information across the storage tier? Oracle ILM assistance enable customers to establish the ILM requirements for data placement across the storage tiers. Oracle database partitioning also helps customers to store data across the storage tier based on business defined rules. And Oracle Advanced Compression enables storage tiers to be optimized with its compression technology. So together, Oracle ILM Assistance, Oracle Database Partitioning, and Oracle Advanced Compression helps organizations to cost-effectively manage the storage infrastructure with a scalable platform. For more information on how to optimize your storage infrastructure, go to oracle.com slash database. Thank you for watching. My name is Harry Tetic.